हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम मनोज त्यागी वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सीरीज ऑन एक्सप्लोरेटरी डेटा एनालिसिस और ई बिफोर जंपिंग इन टू द मशीन लर्निंग वी नीड टू बिल्ड अ सॉलिड फाउंडेशन एंड दैट स्टार्ट विद ई जस्ट लाइक यू वुडेंट बिल्ड अ हाउस विदाउट चेकिंग द ग्राउंड यू कॉन्ट बिल्ड मॉडल्स विदाउट फर्स्ट चेकिंग यू डेटा इन दिस सीरीज वी विल टेक इट स्टेप बाई स्टेप वीडियो वन वी विल स्टार्ट विद द बेसिक्स ऑफ ई एंड टॉक अबाउट वेरिएबल्स न्यूमेरिकल कैटेगोरिकल डिस्क्रीट एंड कंटिन्यूस दिस इज द फाउंडेशन फॉर एवरीथिंग दैट फॉलोज इन वीडियो टू वी विल डाइव इन टू विजुअलाइजेशन हिस्टोग्राम्स बार प्लॉट्स स्केटर प्लॉट्स एंड स्पेशली बॉक्स प्लॉट्स लर्निंग हाउ टू इंटरप्रेट स्प्रेड स्क्यूनेस एंड आउटलायर्स इन वीडियो थ्री वी विल कनेक्ट दिस बैक टू रिग्रेशन वी विल लुक एट द सिंपल इक्वेशन एक्सपेंड इट इन टू मल्टीपल रोग्रेशन एंड अंडरस्टैंड द की एजम्सन यू मस्ट नो बिफोर अप्लाइंग इट एंड फाइनली अ हैंड्स ऑन सेशन इन पाइथन वेयर वी विल अप्लाई ऑल दीज कॉन्सेप्ट इन प्रैक्टिस रनिंग ई डी ए स्टेप बाई स्टेप विद रियल डेटा बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस सीरीज यू विल नॉट ओनली नो द थियोरी बट ऑल्सो हाउ टू पुट इन टू एक्शन सो ग्रेव योर डेटा डिटेक्टिव हैट एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड today we are covering the basics of exploratory data analysis or eda and why understanding variables is at the heart of it eda is basically how we get to know our data kind of like getting to know someone before trusting them we want to understand the patterns spot outliers detect trends and most importantly prepare the data for machine learning and if you are just starting out don't worry this is actually one of the most intuitive parts of data science think of yourself like a data detective searching for clues remember our linear regression equation from earlier videos the basic equation looks like this y equals to bx plus c here is what that means y is the thing we are trying to predict called the dependent variable x is what we are using to make that prediction called the independent variable b is how much y changes when x changes called the slope C is the starting point when x is zero, which is intercept. But real life is really this simple. House price, for example, doesn't depend on just one factor. It depends on size, location, number of rooms, maybe even age of the property. Then the equation becomes y equals to a x one plus b x two plus c x three plus d. This is multiple regression, and here is the key. Each of these x's is a variable. Before we analyze them, we need to know what type of variable each one is. Data usually comes in two types: numerical and categorical. Numerical things like age, salary, temperature, so all measurable numbers. And these come in two flavors: discrete and continuous. Discrete variables can take only specific separate values usually integers examples number of children 0 1 2 number of cars number of females can you have 2.5 children or 3.6 cars of course not that's why they are discrete on the other hand continuous variables can take any value within a range including fractions and decimals example height weight income and temperature you can have 170.2 cm height or 35456.75 income because the values exist on a continuum let's make this clearer with a visual example values like 10 20 30 40 50 are discrete on this line but suppose for a change if i ask you to look between 20 and 30 there are infinitely many possible values and that's what makes them continuous here is a simple way to remember discrete countable step by step continuous measurable smooth flow now let's talk about categorical variables these are qualitative they describe groups or categories like gender country or payment type 
they don't have inherent numerical meaning you can't add or subtract them categorical variables come in two types nominal categories without order example colors red blue green you cannot say red is like number 1 or blue is number 3 there is no ranking here ordinal categories with logical order example education level high school bachelor master phd so they are here in ascending order downwards one thing to note here order matters but difference between levels isn't measurable now here is a common question what is the difference between categorical and discrete quick answer categorical is pure labels discrete looks numeric but acts like counts think of it this way categorical male female india us discrete three kids two cars so why are we even spending time on this because variable types directly affect which model you can use how you process or encode the data and whether you need scaling or transformation for example linear regression works best with continuous variables classification models often use categorical variables discrete variables can sometimes be treated as categorical like a 1 to 5 star rating so knowing your variables isn't just theory it is the foundation for building the right machine learning pipeline In this video we explored the basics of EDA and the types of variables next up we will actually visualize them using histograms bar plots and box plots to see how these concepts play out in real data stay tuned it's about to get visual